Hey there, welcome back! Last episode, I completed the old schoolhouse mystery. Not without a few casualties. But that's okay. I beat the boss. It was a hard boss, but that's neither here nor there. I am happy. <laughs> now, after hanging out with Aura and spending my last bonding point again! I'm acing these bonding points now. I finally learned there's a thing that's going to happen when I reach the gates of uh, the academy. So, let us do that. That was the wrong direction. This is the right direction. That is still the wrong direction. Um, do I even know what I'm doing anymore? <laughs> and we exit! <sighs> it's been a long day. I keep thinking about that red door down in the fourth floor of the old schoolhouse. Oh well, dwelling on it isn't going to magically make it out pop open. I should probably head back to the dorm. To the dormitory! Oh, you're headed back to Reen? My friends! Yeah. You all on your way back then? And Bunny Eustis! Oh, yeah, I'm feeling a bit bush today. I figured it was about time to return to the dorms too. <sighs> to be honest, I was hoping to get some more studying in, but since everyone else was going back. <laughs> Good old peer pressure. Oh, aren't Laura and Fee with you? I'm afraid not. We looked for them, but they were nowhere to be found. <laughs> They're old enough to find their own way back. I guess you're right, but it's a shame we couldn't all go back together. Reen? Huh? Hmm. Oh my god, Elise found me! Uh, who is that girl? Isn't that uniform... Elise? When did you... What? Is that your sister? The one and only. What are you doing here, Elise? And this late in the day, too. Look deep in your heart and you'll find your answer. What? It's a pleasure to meet all of you. I'm Elise, Reen's sister. I apologize for cutting in, but would it be possible for me to borrow him for a while? She's very polite. It's been a while, huh? Must be six months since I saw you? Seven? Yeah. The last time I saw you was when I came back to Ymir at the end of last year. But I always thought we'd have a chance to meet up after you enrolled here. I'm sorry. I wanted to meet you out here too, it's just... I've been so busy lately. Besides, it's not easy to get permission to leave St. Astraea's campus, is it? That's entirely beside the point. Heimdall is just 30 minutes from Trista by train. Add 20 more minutes travel time to get from Central Station to my school. But I suppose you're so tied up that even 50 minutes is too much time to spare for a little visit. I'm sorry, I really am. She'd be a little bit more understanding of his position. I kept being hit with classwork, exams, field studies. But you're right. I probably could have made time if I'd made that a priority. It's just that... Yes? Well... It's just that when I saw you last year, you seemed kind of... distant. I thought maybe you'd started to find me a bother, so I figured it'd be best to just stay out of your way, I guess. I was never distant! Maybe it seemed that way because... Well, it's kind of a personal thing. I'd rather not talk about it. If something's bothering you, you know you can always tell me about it. It, it doesn't matter. What does matter is that I've never thought of you as a bother, ever! And I swear on Adios' name that I never will! R really I'm happy to hear that. Alright then. I'm going to clear up some time to come to the capital and see you. Promise. And you're always welcome to come visit me here, too. Really? <coughs> I'm glad to hear it. After growing up together, you're the last person I'd want to feel distant from. <laughs> you're right. So, is that what you came all the way out here to talk about? Seems a little overbearing just for that. Well, our lack of communication has definitely been on my mind. But that's not the main reason I came here today. Do you really not know why I came? Should I? Oh, a 
That's the last letter I sent to you, isn't it? Oh, did you come for the souvenir I got you on our trip to the Nord Highlands? I found this cute accessory there that I figured you'd like. You did? Wait, no, that's not why I came either. The issue here is the final part of your letter. It's possible that after I graduate, I'll join the army. Even if I don't, though, I doubt I'll be coming back home to live. I really want to repay Mom and Dad for all they've done for me, so I'd appreciate your help with that at some point. I'm looking forward to catching up with you. Hope you're doing well. Rain Schwarzer. Ah, that. What did you mean by, even if I don't, though, I doubt I'll be coming back home to live? Or by wanting to repay mother and father. You make it sound as though you intend to sever ties with them. You can't honestly be thinking that you're going to quietly bow out of succeeding father as head of the family, are you, Reen? That's exactly what I'm thinking. I have no intention of becoming the head of the family or the next Baron Schwarzer. <gasps> What's so surprising about that? I was adopted. I wasn't born into a nobleman's life. The best thing would be for you to marry a good man and have him succeed Dad as Baron. That doesn't even make sense! You might not be related to us by blood, but you're still father's only son, and the right of adopted children to succeed their family name is recognized under imperial law! Yeah, if the adopted child is of noble blood. At least that's how it's gone in most cases. And I'm not. Oh. What am I? Some abandoned kid that Dad found buried in a blizzard 12 years ago. I couldn't even remember where I was from, or life before that. Just my name. And when he chose to take me in as his son, Dad became the hot topic of high society. People called him eccentric, crazy. Some of them even accused him of being unfaithful to Mom. One even asked him to his face if he intended to open wide the gates of the nobility to some low-born bastard. At some point, he got tired of dealing with all of it. He started to avoid leaving Ymir, and eventually, he stopped showing his face at all among the nobility, except on rare occasions. I've caused a lot of trouble for our family, and I really don't want to cause any more than I already have. I doubt I'll be able to leave the Schwarzer name behind, but at the very least, I want you and Mom and Dad to have the respect you deserve with your peers. After all, you'll be 16 next year, making your debut into high society. <laughs> I know it might seem extreme to you, but try to understand how I feel. I'll still visit Ymir. It's not like I want to just walk out of your lives altogether. I mean, Mom and Dad have always looked out for me, and that's a debt I'll never... You don't get it. What? You don't get it at all. You don't understand how father feels. You don't understand how mother feels. And you don't understand how I feel. Elise? <laughs> You're the worst! Why do you always have to be so stubborn? I hate you! I hate you! I escalated quickly. Elise... Well, what are you doing just standing there? What are you... Look, I'm sorry we might have overheard you, but that's beside the point right now. Don't just stand there. Go after her. She was crying. <gasps> I know this isn't a simple problem, but you can't just leave things like they are. She needs you. Indeed. You have a duty to her as family. Okay. I will. If you see her around, let her know I'm looking for her. We will. <laughs> You've got a slap or two coming when you do find her, I'd wager. They did say something about giving Rin a taste of his own medicine when it comes to fixing people's lives. It's no use. I can't sense her anywhere. I need to start looking around the entire campus. Oh, okay. I should have expected I was going to be given that opportunity. Uh, let's just go into every room. Let's see. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. This isn't good. Whatever should we do? Um, what? Please calm down. You said the injury isn't serious, correct? 
Yes, but he has a very important event to take part in next month, and, and, understand, please take care, take me to him right away. Did someone get hurt? Didn't sound like they were talking about Elise. Probably not the best time to ask them about her either. I'll come back later. Ooh. Let's see what's going on in here. Maybe we should ask the very intense Nightheart. Your sister went missing, you say? Hmm. I don't believe I've seen her in this vicinity. You should continue your search for now. I'll get in contact with Instructor Valestine, just in case. Right, let's see. That is a closed door. Uh... Hello. Hmm? What's up? Sorry, I haven't seen anyone around here. Not from St. Australia, at least. Oh. She's lost? I'll keep an eye out, and let you know if I spot her. Let's see, that's a closed door. Uh, also a closed door. Right, let's see, is she upstairs? Mmm, that's computer room. Let's see, art room. Have you seen her? A girl from another school. Haven't seen her. No, I certainly would have noticed her if she posed a threat to me, to my progress. Well, you're... Alright. Hey, have you seen her? Sorry, I haven't seen any girls with black hair around here. And I haven't seen Hebel? Either? He's certainly uh, taking his time. Hmm... Let's see, music room, also locked. I doubt your sister could have gone too far. After all, she doesn't really know her way around here, right? We'll split up and help you look for her too. Thanks, just get in touch with me if you find her. Can't sense her anywhere. If he couldn't sense her, got younger sisters too, so I can sympathize. But we need to track her down and sooner rather than later. If if he can't sense her, maybe she's outside. That is an idea. Hmm. There are three locations I can go. I'm going to the field. Where are you guys? There you are. No, that's not you. Ah, you're over here. It doesn't seem like she's like come. She's come this way. Hmm. Where could she have gone? Sorry, she's being such a headache. Such a... You do realize that you're the one to blame here, don't you? Uh, of course you don't. That makes all of this even worse. I, I'm just going to leave this place to you and look somewhere else. Let's see. Where's... Oh. Hello. Hmm. Not here either. Fee? Are you looking for Elise too? Mm-hmm. I got a call about what happened. No luck so far, though. Really? Thanks. I appreciate it. Sounds like you had a family spat. <laughs> they told you all about that, huh? Not a noble by birth. Fact is, I don't even have a drop of noble blood in me. To always be an outsider in their in their world. That's why I know the day will come when I have to leave home because I don't belong here. Not really. I thought Elise would understand that, but it doesn't seem like she does. Until the others in Severe Saphir took me in, I was alone too. I never even knew my real parents. So I understand, at least a bit. Hmm. They were still family to me. I never thought about leaving them. Why would I? That's the one place I knew I'd always belong. Don't you feel like that about your family? I... Well, it's not my business. Let's just find her. You're right. I'll leave this area to you. Then. Thanks, V. Okay. Alright. Which means I'm off to the gymnasium. Which is where good friend Laura is. Oh, right in front of me. Laura, are you looking for Elise too? I am. I heard about her disappearance earlier and have been searching for her since. Thanks. I really appreciate it. You should save your thanks until after we found her. 
I was informed of what happened between the two of you. Oh. I'm sorry you got dragged into what should have been just a family matter. Belonging to the nobility comes with countless obligations and complications, and your family situation is more complex than most. I believe I understand at, at least some of your frustrations, Laura. However, there's one thing I feel I have to ask you. Could you swear to your sister with your hand on your heart that your choice isn't simply your desire to escape that life? Huh? Forgive me. It's not my place to pry. Not least, uh, not least when I have my own hesitations to overcome. N no, you're right. It looks like you've, uh, you've got things covered here. So I'm going to go look somewhere else, okay? Understood. Leaves this area to me. So I guess all that's left is the Student Union building. That is indeed where I'm headed. Let's see. So we've got our good friend Machias looking out. Let's go upstairs. Whoops. Oh. Hello. Hello. What's wrong, Rain? You seem awfully flustered. Yeah. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were in some kind of trouble. It's... well... Rain explained to Toa and Angelica. Your sister? Y yeah I don't suppose either of you have seen her, have you? N not that I'm aware of. I've been in here talking with Toa for a while now. I see. Hmm. A stunning young beauty from St. Australia with luscious e uh, ebon locks. And she's Rain's sister, too, so I'm sure she must have the grace of the finest, most delicate flower. So whoever finds her gets to be her one true parents, right? Way to go with that, Angelica. Absolutely not! Angie, this is serious. Sorry, couldn't help myself. Anyway, we'll do what we can to help. I'll take the orbital bike for a ride around the academy grounds and see if I can find her. Honestly. Um, I'll do what I can as the student council president to see if we can find her, too. I'll call you as soon as we hear anything, so keep searching. Thanks, both of you. Ooh. Now what? Hmm, let me try upstairs real quick. Hello, Yusus. I've yet to find her, unfortunately. None of the nobles in the salon have seen her, either. You actually went to the salon to ask for me? Wow, thanks, Yusus. Think nothing of it. You ought to continue your search, though. I should. Let's see. Where else have I not been? Um. Let's see. Let's ask, uh, Machias real quick. I asked around, but no one he around here has seen her. Sorry about that, Reen. No worries. Thanks for checking. She has to be somewhere on campus, at the very least. Move on to the next place. Will do. Alright, since I took care of all of the red explanation points... Um... Oh! That opened up one area. Let's see... What am I going to do? I can't find her anywhere. Did she go back into town? It feels like she wouldn't have left the academy grounds, though. Yo, Reen, what's up? Hey, it's you. Crow? I'm just looking for someone. A classmate? Or did some second-year sweetheart confess to you and you botched things up? Actually, it's my younger sister. She's not a student here, though. Oh. You have a sister? Honestly, I always kind of got that only child vibe from you. Well... I guess that must be who that girl I saw earlier was then. Long black hair, St. Australia Academy uniform, tear-stained cheeks. That has to be her! Where did you last see her? She was talking with one of those upper crust boys in white, out on that path behind the school. That stuck-up first year... <sighs> What's his name? High Arms, I think? Don't you 
dare start acting like you're above me, Reem Schwarzer. Just because Ymir's lord took you in out of pity doesn't change the fact that you're a nobody without a drop of noble blood. With him? Ooh, looks like we're gonna have a confrontation with Patrick again. Never think about what would make him happy. He's too busy thinking about other people. I'm such an idiot. Why can't I just be more honest with him? And with myself. Who might you be? That's the uniform of Heimdall's St. Astraea Girls' School, if I'm not mistaken. What brings a lady like yourself all the way out here? <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I... No, no, I, I apologize. I, I wasn't accusing you of anything. I... W w wait, right, I, I, I should introduce myself first. My name is Patrick. Patrick Hyams. I'm sure you've heard the name before. Hyams? It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Elise Schwarzer, daughter of Baron Schwarzer. Ah, Elise. Such a lovely sounding name. Wait a second. Schwarzer? Uh, as in Reen Schwarzer? Are you his sister? I yes? Reen is my elder brother. Ugh, why does she have to be related to that Cretan? But wait, he was adopted. That means they aren't related by blood. I'm saying this all out loud. It seems you're not on the best of terms with my brother. I don't wish to cause you any unpleasantness, so I'll just excuse myself. N no, no, you aren't. I, I mean. Isn't that going straight towards the old school house? Wait! Th that way! You said you saw her behind the old schoolhouse. Which way did she go? Hmm. Oh, right. Come on! I'll show you where I saw her. Where could she have scurried off to? The old schoolhouse is usually locked, so I don't think she could have gone in there. Patrick! You? Where's Elise? You better not have tried to pick a fight with her and scared her off! I did no such thing. I, I just happened to see her crying, so I approached her to see what was wrong. Then, when she took off running this way, I, I followed her, out of gentlemanly concern. <sighs> Looks like she definitely came through here, though. You think she could have gone into that old schoolhouse you guys poke around in every month? Couldn't be. We locked it after we finished up in there earlier. Scroll smiling. Oh god, she's huh. in the old school house. Short while earlier. How'd she get in? Where am I? What is this place? The door wasn't locked. Someone unlocked it. It's a kitty cat! A cat? Oh! What 
is this? It looks like some kind of machine. And yet... An ancient machine? Where's that cat I saw earlier? I don't see anywhere it could have hidden itself. Oh, it looks like there's something written here. Wow. Seems to be only six floors in this place. I never actually looked at that screen before. Huh? Ah! She didn't even push anything! She just looked at it intently. So it was an elevator. I must have descended pretty far underground. The door. Oh, are we about to figure out something about the door? No, at least. <laughs> that door is full What's of sketch. This? A red door? A sketchy red door. It seems awfully huge. Maybe it leads to somewhere important? Fourth lock released, initialization complete. What? <gasps> Potential awakener waveform confirmed within 30 arge? Or 50 arge, that's what that was. Commencing the first trial. No! I'm so concerned. <laughs> Elise! Where are you? Hmm. No sign of her. <sighs> Why do I have to? <coughs> Elise! A scream? It came from farther inside. It came from below. What is this place? Wow, so this is what it looks like down here now? Going down, huh? All right then, Patty Cakes. Time to lock and load. Patty Cakes. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Don't call me that. Yes, call him that more. Oh, it's now my new favorite nickname for him. I'm <laughs> going down. Uh, what the hell is that? Oh no, Elise. A giant suit of armor? <gasps> she's, she's, she's fine. She's probably okay. I'm not even remotely ready for this. This just came out of literally nowhere. What's happening? His hair turned white. Oh, what the? <gasps> now. Um. I think it is time to call it a day. 
<laughs> Thank you for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more, please press that little subscribe button. It helps out a lot. And if you like this video specifically, please like and share this video. Next time, I'm gonna fight this thing. Um. Jeez. And then we're just gonna see what happens next. Holy shit. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.